Hello YouTube. I'm sitting here looking at the time and it is 1.05 in the morning. And as most of you know, I am a night person. I usually stay up most of the night and I sleep during the day. And that is no joke. That is just me. That's the way I am. I'm not trying to sound cool or anything like that. That's just me. Anytime I um, do stuff in the, in the daytime hours, if I have a class to go to, or if I'm scheduled to go to work, and you know, so then I'm sort of like forced to um, do things um, during the day. But usually, you know, I'm up all night. That's you know the way I am. So how did I get this way? Basically, I I think I was born that way. Um, when I was a kid, growing up here in in Michigan. Detroit, Michigan, to be exact. There was a TV program that came on called The Ghoul. And The Ghoul would come on, I would say, at 11, 30, 12 at night. And I believe it was on a, on Saturday nights. This was so long ago. This was um, back in the 70s. And basically, he would show horror movies, and he would have these weird little skits that he would do in... Um, he would always abuse this little frog called Froggy. <laughs> um, those of you who grew up in the seventies, uh, you know, you probably re remember the ghoul. How can you not remember the ghoul? You know, this is a guy that would blow up a, a frog on, on national TV. You know, <laughs> not a real frog though. So don't send me no hate mail. That you know, it, it was a plastic frog. Okay, I don't. I don't want to see any. Don't, don't you dare send me, any, <laughs> send me any hate mail about, you know, Merlin is saying it's okay to blow up frogs. No, I am not saying it's okay to blow up frogs, okay? Anyway, you know, I've always been a, a fan of his, and I'm not going to tell my age, but I was, you know, pretty young back then, and I think that sort of got me in the habit of staying up late and, and watching a lot of horror movies so I know. On television and you know it, it got me in the taste of uh, watching horror movies as far as you know really appreciate them um, one of my um, favorite horror movies was a movie called if I can remember it um, the living dead or something like that or no it was called psychomania that movie was awesome and I am proud to say that I own a copy of that movie and it's basically, it was a movie about this motorcycle gang who um, found, I guess the leader of the gang, found the secret of life or whatever. And um, what they would do is they would uh, go and, and run their motorcycles off of bridges and you know jump off, off of uh, windows because they were immortal. They uh, believed that if they truly believed they would come back they would actually come back from the dead, and and that was the name of the, um, the motorcycle gang. I believe it was called the Living Dead or something like that. You know, great movie. The Ghoul used to show that movie all the time, and I was a big fan of the Ghoul and big bad fan of that movie. Um, that movie, and you know, and there's a host of other movies that uh, he used to show. But I think you know that had a part of my early development, and that's why. You know, I, I have a, such a love for horror movies. Um, one of the things I want to do with this channel is uh, do some movie reviews of movies that I've seen over the years and movies that I think that are really significant and that you will learn a lot from. Now, there are, you know, the way I look at movies, I look at it in, in two ways. There are, there are the horror movies that you, you kind of like, you know, because they're like splatter flicks, you know, you see a lot of blood and guts and, and whatnot, like Night of the Living Dead or whatever. But then there's other movies uh, that you can kind of tell the director is trying to tell you something, you know, that there's a message behind the movies, you know. I would say like the, the, Coffin, the old Coffin Joe movies or even Night of the Living Dead too, you know, or Godzilla. Yes, you know, those movies on the surface, yeah, you know, you can watch them, sit back and watch them and say, yeah, you know, this is a really good horror flick, but if you really pay attention to these movies, yeah, you know, there's some um, 
social, um, you know, it's, it's socially relevant, um, these movies, and they really um, hit home in, in different areas of our lives and, and different things that we probably should um, look at. You know, especially with, with, with Godzilla. You know, if you think about it, if you go around, you know, pissing on Mother Nature and, and doing things to an environment that you should not be doing, then that old ancient dragon is going to come back, you know, and um, you know, <laughs> it's going to be, you know, hell to be paid when that happens. If you fuck with the environment, you fuck with Mother Nature, Mother Nature is going to fuck with you, basically. So, anyway, this is sort of like my midnight rant here, and um, hey, I'm going to be posting a lot of videos, different kind of videos here on YouTube. Like I said, movie reviews, um, I also want to go over uh, my views of the craft, so you'll be seeing stuff like that posted here. Uh, I'll be posting spells, I'll be posting some of my uh, classical guitar pieces that I'm working on. I'll be posting uh, some original guitar pieces. Uh, I'll be posting some blues, and I'll be posting some, you know, crazy midnight rants like I'm doing right now too. So um, bear with me, you know. So you will probably will be seeing a lot more of this type of thing here on YouTube for me. So if you enjoy what you see, you know, if I entertain you in in some way. You know, feel free to subscribe to my channel and, you know, send me a message or whatever. And, of course, don't forget to stop by my webpage, MerlinRavenSong.com. And if you're interested in joining the group that I have on Full Moon Circle, um, you know, feel free to contact me and I'll send you uh, some information on how to join Full Moon Circle. One of the things I'm, I'm doing with Full Moon Circle um, now is... Um, I'm not sure if I'll be going to Wayne State University in the fall. You know, uh, I might be um, transferring over to Oakland University. I'm, I haven't quite made up my mind. But um, one of the things I've learned um, by running Full Moon Circle is Full Moon Circle is, is not confined to Wayne State University. Um, we've been meeting a lot off campus of, of Wayne State University, uh, our members. We've been doing rituals and things like that. And what I plan on doing is probably doing some type of meetup thing, you know. So I have people that I've contacted and, you know, they seem like they're interested. So eventually I'm going to move Full Moon Circle from Wayne State University and more out into the public. So more news on that, um, you know, as things come and into fruition. So, if you want to keep up in, on what I'm doing, you know, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to go by MerlinRavenSong.com, my website, and, um, you know, check out what's happening there. Okay, so, those of you who are watching this on Friday night, um, good night to you. Those of you who are creatures of the night, like me, you know, good morning. <laughs> And those of you who sleep during the night hours and do all of your things um, during the day, good night. Peace.